Hello everybody, welcome to the Chalice Season 4 preview. Um, this was a 64 person tournament, but I just waited till the top 16 to do it because, to be honest, there's a lot of bad coaches qualify. <laughs> there's probably about 20 good players um, out of the 64, and now we've cut it down to, you know, 16 players, and they're probably all pretty decent, I guess. They know most of the names. So, um, you know, I guess it's, it's done a good job of... Uh, of cutting down the field to to a relevant bit thing. They've messed up the draw somehow, right? Oh no, 16 played 17, yeah, yeah. So there we go, we've got Diamond versus K-Fog at the top of the round. That could have been the final, couldn't it? Two of the best uh, two of the best coaches in it, no doubt there at the top of the draw. A kind Sir versus Terrible, Terrible Thomas. Crystal Hunter versus Zahu, Mr. Page versus Albachon. Patrick Balcony versus Arzawain. Min Max Master versus Jasek. Seabros versus Sergal and Bright versus Doomfox. There you go. Some names that we know there, um, but without a shadow of a doubt, the two favourites, Diamed and KFOG, and playing each other. So there you go. Pretty brutal for them. So now we can take a look at the teams. So, first up, we have got Diamed's team, and he's gone for the AV Up Dark Elves. I really like this idea. I said it from the start. As soon as the rules were. Um, revealed right as, as soon as the new rules were revealed, it spoiled uh, the you know the leak the, the leak that had the that had the rules package that we all saw uh, 2020 rules. I said AV for 10k is really good, and you know once you complete a player, just take 10 AV on them and uh, like take AV for 10k, and this is what he's done. He's randomed a few, and then he's uh, he's just taken the AV ups, and I think it's a great strategy. You know, there's so much fouling now and just blocking as well, right? There's not as much claw anymore um, due to claw and mighty blow not stacking properly. So you're really only scared of tackle mighty and fouls, and AV protects against both of those a lot. You've got a sneaky get dirty player, would have no doubt liked another one, but um, 13 players, 3 re rolls, lots of AV, pretty decent. Um, he's got one tackle. Which could be a problem because I happen to know that he's up against KFOG. Oh, could have looked at the stats here. Let's have a look at the stats first. 37 wins, 10 draws, 6 defeats. I hate that this win ratio is not the actual win ratio. I alerted them to the fact that this is not the actual win ratio. And they said, oh yeah, we, we know we'll sort it out. They haven't fixed it yet. They really need to make this the actual win rate. Not a, a completely irrelevant percentage of games that are wins that nobody on earth cares about in any sport. Um, it should be the win rate, but there you go. It isn't. Uh, so there you go. There's Diamond, team and record, and he is up against Big Kev. This is the only team that I know, actually. I know that KFOG is Wood Elves. And, uh... Yep, yeah, let's... Let's have a look at him. He has got a miss next. Tackle Mighty Dancer. That is a huge, huge miss next game there. Huge miss next game for him. He's guard as well, randomly. I'm not sure about that. Uh, juggernaut. Strip. Neither Dancer, okay. And he's obviously got his one-turner. Trademark. KFOG one-turner. Sidestep. Sprint. Sure feet. Move up. Uh, it's pretty good, right? Especially if you're good at one-turning as KFOG is. Three re rolls. 13 players. And only 12 because the, there's two missed next games. So only 12 players. And he's got a lot of money though and could get some inducements. Um, not many inducements though, actually. And his record is incredible 27 wins, 3 draws, 0 losses. What an absolute bad ass core is. Of course, it's actually a 95% win ratio. This is going to kill me. I really, really hope. They fix this, um, but you know, yeah. So there you go. So two, two of the best coaches with, you know, not great teams actually, right? This this was a sixteen hundred limit on the TV, so none of the teams are going to be too amazing, I guess. Um, right now, I've got a kind sir, knobs. <laughs> He's got it at the max sixteen hundred TV. He's got stand firm guard, uh, three guard here. Some, some, quite a lot of tackle, um, a mighty blow, break tackle as well. D 
double move up blitzer like that with dodge and sidestep yeah so that's pretty good isn't it move nine blood step blitz is pretty good and then random dirty player random wrestle yeah decent two re-rolls plus leader um it's about as good as knobs are gonna get i would still fancy anybody with a clue to beat it but there you go 18 5 7 decent record um and he is up against terrible thomas um uh, yeah yeah there is I'll, I'll link it i'll link it at the end <laughs> i'll link it in the end I'll, I'll, i've got to get through this uh i've got to get through this though steve hello by the way i i have to i have to get through this <laughs> right um so ter he's against terrible thomas who has undead block guard stand firm mummies beautiful 1600 at the max um double move up Blodge step, sure hands, ghoul, so standard movement nine ghoul. I mean, it's pretty standard for everyone, right, to have a movement nine carrier. Um, I I, you know, I quite like that. One, two, three, four, five. He could have had AV up as well, right? If you got the extra SPPs, you could have had AV up as well, which I would quite like, seeing as you've got all of your eggs in one basket. Might as well make it a good basket. And he's got two randoms here, eh? I guess he random Dauntless and Pro and then picked block and got a random wrestle and strip and then chose don't know he must have chosen wrestle and got the other two i don't understand what's happening there but um you know it's basically all of his tvs on the mummies in this school i think uh, i think a kind sir could be the favorite there 1910 that's uh not great is it with uh undead undead usually you know, pretty powerful team. So, uh, yeah, I think Account serves my pick for that one. Right, Crystal Hunter, a name everybody knows. With Underworld, not with, uh, not with Skaven. I mean, there's still Skaven on the team, of course. So we've got this a block, Sprint Show Feet, um, Foul Appearance, Big Hand, Two Heads. No sidestep, though. That's a bit rubbish, isn't it? The, the lack of side step is a bit rubbish. I would, would have probably liked it over Big Hand personally, but you know, Chunter loves his ball sacking things, doesn't he? Blitzer here, Mighty Blow, Tackle, Claws, Horns, pretty nice blitzing piece. Roger, Blodge, Break Tackle, <laughs> two heads. <laughs> He's got arm by, so uh, some of these must be randoms, right? Claws. Yeah, so I, I, the the armbar must have been a random, but um, only 1530 TV, sneaky git snotling. It's not terrible, is it? It's not terrible, you know, most of his TVs on the three players, three rerolls plus a leader. And uh, 3326, pretty good record. Real shame that we can't see the win rates, but there you go. And he's up against Zahu. See if I can find Zahu. It should be easier because there's only 16 teams to look for. This is a, and they're in a list, so it's a lot easier to find than the Blood Bowl two teams. That was a nightmare. He's up against Skaven. Zahu has Skaven, so I would, yeah, I think this team's rubbish. 1400 TV. Did he have half his team? He must have had like a rat or a die or something. He just doesn't have a team. Three rerolls. Barely any skills. Um, 19412. Big favourite Chunter in that one. Huge, massive, monster favourite is Chunts. Right, Mr. Page versus Albachon. Of course, everybody knows Mr. Page. Uh, bashing extraordinaire. Glorious. Really, no, I won't give really likes to punch things. Until I'm victorious. Lots of guard. And I will defend. I will defend. Seven guard. How many beaver pregnancies is this? It's one. Thank you very much, Hargrim. A beautiful beaver pregnancy. Wow. Um, so there we go. We've got an AV up blitzer and some other things. I think he's taken loads of randoms. By the looks of this, he's taken lots of randoms. Um, which, you know, is kind of good. 
but you end up with a lot of schools you don't really want that much. He's got loads of stand firm actually, hasn't he? But like this frenzy isn't good, is it? The frenzy surely was a random and stuff. But most of the randoms are good, right? He's just he's obviously like farmed this team up an immense amount because he plays a lot. Seventeen hundred. He's got to actually cut. I guess he had a player miss next game. He's got to he's got to cut down from this. And uh, forty six wins, twenty four draws, thirteen defeats. Yeah, fifty five percent. But again, it's not actually fifty five, right? It, this it's this is so dumb. Cyanide, please fix your game. <laughs> this is worthless. This win ratio is absolute nonsense. Um, yeah, somebody clip that and send them it so that they know that how stupid this is. So there you go. Um, that's Mitchell P. He's got a lovely defensive up there. This is pretty strong. Pretty strong team. Um, the main question is, is 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 he going to have to play any, any elves? And he, he's going to have to play elves if he beats Albachon. Because he's going to have to play Chunter's Underworld or Zahu's Skaven. So he's going to struggle in that game. Uh, it's historically... Mr. Pidge does struggle versus Elves, but he might not get there because he's up against a very TV efficient team. Well, it's actually not that much TV efficient because <laughs> he's taken his skills, uh, but lots of guard. Seven guard again, some mighty blow, some stand firm. Lots of AV ups, lovely. Love to see the AV up meta from Albachon. Um, three rerolls and a lot lower TV actually. So yeah, so Mr. Pidge is gonna have to cut some things. So it's going to be interesting, and there's room to take skills here as well for uh, Albachon if he, you know, if he feels he needs them, which he probably will feel he needs them. So he can take like a good three, three or four skill ups here on the, uh, on the biggins and the blitzer, to try and uh, do something. I'm, I'm sure, actually sure he will. Right? He's got. You can take three. No, you can take two normals. You can choose two and then take two randoms. That's twenty, forty, sixty TV. Yeah. That's probably what he'll do. Probably random two and uh, choose two. Or, like, I don't think he'll have enough for AV up. Unfortunately, I don't know the SPP costs off the top of my head. But there you go. Um, 40, 16, 16. So, again, not, not an amazing record. But, you know, it's Orcs. And building the team and getting those randoms is more important than record. It's very easy to qualify for the, uh, for the playoffs. You don't need uh, an amazing record anymore. You just need to build your team up and then have a decent run. So there you go. So I think Mr. Page is the favourite there, but you never know. And that's half of the half halfway through. Okay, that's good. Now we've got Patrick Balkany versus Arzawin. Patrick Balkany was finished second on the ladder, as you can see by the uh, second seed there, and he's he's a new he's a new face um, to Blood Bowl three. From you know he wasn't I, I don't don't know him from Blood Bowl two. And he's certainly min-maxing the hell out of these dwarves. Millions and millions of skills. Yeah, it's terrible sea bros. I did tell them and they said they were going to look at it, but that was, you know, months and months and months ago and they haven't done anything. He's got the st standard runner there with a uh, lodge move up. Love to see it. Doesn't have an edge up though, which is a bit sad. Um, loads of guard. Loads of stand firm. It's a mighty blow. It's a pretty strong team, isn't it? 1575. Pretty high TV. 48, 13, 4. Really nice record. So yeah, pretty strong, pretty strong dwarf coach there, and uh, we'll all be hoping he wins up against Arzawain. <laughs> ah, it's a dwarf mirror. Oh god, Arzawain's team is just better. There's more guard, there's more stand firm, there's more mighty blow. Oof, this, the, the runner's got ad up. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, this could be curtains for the number two seed. This team looks way better. This team actually looks way better. Holy moly, two re-rolls and just tons and tons of guard and stand firm and mighty blow. Four, what a team. 36-10, did it in less games as well. So there you go, very impressive. Um, so yeah, I unfortunately think Arzawain is the favorite there. He's not bad at Blood Bowl either. Just, uh, just you know, cheated thousands of dollars out of their PlayStation players <laughs> in Blood Bowl 2. Um, right. Now, uh, Min Max Master is the next up. Oh, God, he's got Chaos. Chaos with a 1600 TV cap. Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? Uh, he's got three guards on the entire team. He's got some Claw Mighties. He's got some move ups, some AV ups. I really don't like this team at all. 1480 TV. So he's got some, you know, some players to buy, some skills to put on. 49, 18, 34 is uh, not the best win rate ever. 
So yeah, not sure who Minmax Master is, but uh, he's not bring he's not filling me with confidence. But you know, he's won two games to get here, so um, you know that's something, isn't it? And he's up against Jasek, another name I haven't heard of, with Orcs. And he's also got the. I like that people are taking the AV ups now. There is a clip of uh, you know Elliot calling me right and saying, "God damn it, why is Jimmy always right?" And it took people a while. It took people a while to catch on. To the, uh, to the meta that I determined after looking at the rules and instantly deciding that this was good. Uh, but eventually people have caught up and uh, we are going lots of AV ups. Love to see it. Of course the AV ups not so good against the claw, but the defensive will be very good and lots of guard. Uh, double move up, Mr. Throw. Pretty nice. So I would probably say the Orcs are favourite here. 15-55, 13 um, so this is funny, right? Because there's a there's a bit of a yeah no I did download first yeah there's a bit of finessing that can go on right with selecting randoms and and choosing skills and stuff. There's all sorts of things you can do in this uh, in this format, which is unfortunately going to be nullified next season as they decided to change the rules halfway through the season. Very bizarre. Next season the cup will all be resurrection, so things like this won't happen to Seabros of getting three players missed next game and stuff. Um, I actually really quite liked that it was. Uh, you know that these games are not not resurrection um, <laughs> but you know because it's quite cool like you know the rolling a random to see what you get and stuff you know like finessing your tv uh, that aspect of game management is gone now which is a bit sad but i guess you know it's a bit fair in that you won't have like your best player miss next game and stuff and miss the final or whatever or, or get killed before the semi-final all these kind of things like um k fog is missing his tackle mighty blow dancer terrible loss so um you know, I guess it's good that those kind of things don't happen, but I like the I like the management, but that aspect is gone. But you know, you can say it's fairer, can't you? So that's that's good, I guess. Um, so yes, yeah, it's a pretty nice team, isn't it? Just loads of block and guard. It's Saurus, it's Lizardmen, so you know, there's not much of there's not much magic to it. Um, move up. The block isn't ideal, is it? The block isn't ideal, but it was a random, so that that's okay. Um, like it's it's all right, you know. Having a block carrier is is all right, isn't it? Um, it's just that with move nine, you'd rather use you know sprint, sure feet, or sidestep or whatever for the one turn. But in you know in, in general gameplay, block is uh, block is good. Oh yeah, fifteen fifty, so can just choose a block there. Um, you know, and maybe could like run into others and stuff. Like I I like the aspect, right? I like the aspect of this is that if you if you think that this game is going to be your last one in the tournament, you could you could pick your block here. And then you could go random, 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 right? And you're sacrificing cup equity for match equity because, you know, obviously you're going to have a better chance if you have three more randoms. Um, and they might not be good randoms and they might not be too useful, but you can get lucky. I really like that aspect of playoffs and the fact that that's gone is a bit sad, I think. But there you go. Well, going next season. 24-6-4. Um, pretty nice record. So there you go. And... Yeah, but exactly. But it's it's more it's more it's more decisions that the coaches can make, isn't it? I like that. I like that, and, and I'm a bit sad that it's going to lose, be gone. Uh, up against Sergal with uh, dwarves, and his team is called Hello Dwarves, and now he's playing dwarves, so he should be the big favourite here. This is not a very good dwarf team. This is like 1600 TV, and it's got way less skills than uh, Arzawain's. Arzawain's team is like a million times better than this. He doesn't even have a super runner. Where is his TV gone? Has he just has he just uh, picked all of his skills? This is uh, not a great team. Twenty eight, nine, ten, not a great record. So there you go. We can all hope that Seabros puts Sergal another cheat to the sword. That's fantastic. And then the last match of the round is Bright versus Doom Fox. So there we go. Um, Bright with Orcs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guard. Oh my god, this ravaged <laughs> the ravaged sneaky get dirty player lineman. <laughs> and uh, some more AV ups, love to see it. Dual move on this blitzer, lovely. Um Yeah, pretty nice team. Three, four, five mighty blow. Okay. And throw oh my god, he's even got he's even got a Mr. Throw. Okay, I'm not much of a fan of the Mr. Throw, but I like that he's got a throw and a catcher almost, hasn't he, with his movement eight guy. 16.55, he's actually got a cut before the uh, match. And 50, 13, 14. Decent 
record. No idea what the win rate is, though. <laughs> it really is kind of annoying that we've got no idea what the win rate is for any of the teams. But never mind. And is going up against Doom Fox, who's 1600 dead. And he's got move ups, lots of moves ups here. Two movement nine players. Mighty blow tackle, sidesteps, loads of rookies, three rerolls. I am not a fan of this team. I, you know, fair play to Doom Fox for getting this far. 34 9, decent record as well. But I do not fancy his chances of beating Bright there. I think Bright is a very good player. Uh, there's a few there's a few good players. Um so yeah, there you go. This is the draw, and uh, I'll do all the matches, either live or replay, and uh, put them all on the YouTubes. So, yep, there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.